Hi guys, so let's keep going. Uh, we stopped here. Uh, you can pause the video and try to do them. They are quite easy. So uh, let's let's do them. So the first one and the second one, you are supposed to find the um, apparent um, apparent depth, right? So remember the the virtual image here. So if uh, if the source is in the water, so that the source of light is in the water, so light goes from here, so that will be medium one to, to there, so that's going to be medium two. So the, the depth here, the apparent depth here will be D prime. So D prime will be the actual depth divided by 1.33 multiplied by 1. So the first thing to do is to identify where is the source of light. The source of light here is inside medium 1 and, and sub 1. So you go from 1 to 2. Okay. So uh, here you have the fish. So we, we talked about that already. So you have a fish here, and you see the fish is at the uh, actual dis distance or actual depth of 60 centimeters. So the index of refraction here is 1, the water is 1.33. So we're going to go from medium 1 to medium 2, because we're going to go from the fish to your eyes. So that's going to be N1 equals 1.33 to N2 equals 1. So you have to be very careful to decide where is the source of, of the rays. The source of the rays here is inside the water, right? So you go from water, you can even write here, you go from water to air. Then you can draw you know, um, you have many rays, so I'm just tracing two of them. And then you have the normal. Remember, it's an imaginary line which is perpendicular to the border between those two medium. And here it's going to be refracted away from the normal because you go from slow to fast. So it's going to go in this direction, and here it's going to go in that direction, right? So where the line are going to meet here, at that location here about, I'm going to have a virtual, virtual fish, right? A ghost fish. So if you are looking here, you, you try to scoop the fish, of course, you're going to miss it, right? That's right. You have a net, you try to catch the fish, and of course, you're going to miss it because the fish is farther down, okay? So that's how it works. And so you see that the depth will be smaller. So you don't even have to plug the numbers here, although you could, but you see that the apparent depth, so D prime equals 60 centimeters divided by 1.33. This, this has no dimension. Okay, so it's gonna be 60, divided by 1.33, so it's going to be 60 divided by 1.33, that's going to be 45, uh, 45 centimeters. So the apparent depth is 45 centimeters. Okay, so the same idea in this problem here. So we, we have the same thing, kind of the same same thing here. Um, so you have a rock here at the bottom. So this is your rock here. And it's at the bottom of the water. You know it's a water because you have a fish there. 
and um, so it appears to be lying just 24 centimeter below the surface, right? So that means the apparent position it's going to be somewhere here. Okay, so that will be the virtual image. That's what you see when you are looking at uh, at the rock here. Okay, so if you wonder what it is, that's a nose and these are eyes. Okay, so that distance here below the surface, it's going to be 24 centimeters. And they want to find the actual distance D. And that's going to be D prime. So again, the source is inside the water, right? So it means you go from water to air. So that means N1 equals 1.33, N2 equals 1. So inside the water, um, that's, that's what it is, right? So you have the apparent depth and you have the actual depth. So you see the actual depth is larger. So because we discussed that, so you have D equals 1.33 times 24, right? The unit is centimeters. You, you can plug it in here and you will get the same thing. So this is the apparent, this is the actual. And you go from one to two. Which you remember from the bottom to the top. You go always from medium one to medium two. Okay. So here it's the same story again. Let's see if I can do that. Insect. Let's do the insect one. Uh, yes, I have to copy. So you have a block of glass. So this is a block of glass here. So it's a block. Okay. And you have an insect. So maybe it's just to um, So that's your insect. I'm not sure what kind of insect. 2.4 centimeters below a plane surface of the block. So it means between the, the insect and here, the distance is 2.4 centimeters, right? The index here is 1.5. That's going to be the source of the rays. How far from the surface does this insect appear to be from, from someone outside? So that means here you are looking at the insect. Okay. So again, you go from one, so that's going to be one because the source is here and that's going to be two. Okay, so you go from one to two. So you go from 1.5, which is glass, to one, which is air. Okay, so then you can apply the equation. Or you can remember that it's, it's like water, right? So it means it, the, the, the distance here will be smaller. You can, you can show that just tracing the ray like we, we did. You have a ray here. It goes from slow to fast. So it's going to be refracted away, refracted away. Some of it will reach your eye. Some of it will go straight. But where they meet here, yeah, everyone meet, that's going to be the ghost the ghost uh, image, okay, the apparent image. So we want to know that distance here, the apparent distance here between the surface and here. But that's going to be easy. That's going to be G prime equals 2.5, 2.4 divided by 1.5, because it has to be smaller. Or you can, uh, you can apply the equation, okay? So,
Okay, so that's a question about the mirror. So we didn't do the mirror yet, but with a plain mirror, it's easy to understand what's going on because you all have experience uh, mirror. So as you always, you can look at the mirror. Um, so you see some, some light, some rays coming from the object here. So that's going to be your plain mirror. So some light here, some ray will be reflected off the mirror. So it's going to be reflected off the mirror, reflected off the mirror. And all those, those rays here, they meet. So here you are located there and you are looking. And this ray, so you're looking at the mirror. So are you looking at the image or the pencil in the mirror? So all those rays here, it's going to meet here at, this, at that point. So you see that the, the, the distance here between the mirror and the object is going to be the same as the distance between the mirror and the image. So it means when you are um, staring at a plain mirror, uh, you're not going to see you shorter or higher. Okay? It's going to be the same height and your image will be at the same distance here than it is there. So if you get close to the mirror, your image is going coming close to you. If you move away from the mirror, your image is just uh, stepping away. It's moving away from you. Okay, so there is nothing, nothing special about it. And again, it's the same idea. You are staying here, you are located here, and all those rays seems to seem to meet here at, at that point. You don't have to have a pencil, you can have a penguin, for example, and the penguin can see itself in the mirror, maybe it's going to attack itself, but that's, that's the image it's going to see. What is interesting here is that he, he doesn't need the, like, if you, if, if you look at the feet here, the, 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 the feet of, of the penguin, um, it's going to, it's going to be bouncing off here, right? We're going to see later, but all he needs, all he needs is half of the mirror to see himself entirely, right? So we're going to see that later. So anyway, to answer this question here, if the man is 1.8 meter, the image will be also 1.8 meter. He, if if he is standing three, three meters in front of the the plane mirror, the image will be three meter behind the mirror. Okay. So, not sure what that question was doing here, but it's okay. Okay, so that's Nelly's law. So you have a piece of glass again, so that's a piece of glass here. And you have a ray, so you have to do the normal, so that's going to be normal here. And I'm, I'm going to just do the surface. I mean, I'm, I'm going to looking at that face here. So you see the angle here is uh, 50 degrees. And it's refracted here to 30 degrees. So what is the index of refraction? So you go from one to two, okay? So it means you go from air to glass. So you go from N1 is 1 to N2 is IDK. So you go with an angle of incidence equals 50 degrees to an angle of incidence equals, equals 30 degrees. So you can have 1 times sine 50 equals n2 sine 30. Okay, so you can you can um, solve here. 
And of course, you want to pause the video to make sure you do. So sine 50 divided by sine 30. And you get one, 1 1.53, something like this, 1.53. So let's go back to the simulation. So you have here uh, 50 degrees, right? So it's going to be 50 degrees is here. Is that right? 50 degrees. Angle of incidence 50 degrees and you want 30. So I'm going to change that to get 30. So 50. So am I doing this right? So L is 1. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's going to be 10, 20, 30. And I found 1.46. So what did you find here? It's not exactly that. I found sine, so sine 50 divided by sine 30, 1.53. So what's wrong with this application here? Oh, it's about, no, 53, 1.53. It's about that, right? It's about 30 degrees, okay? So it's an experiment, so of course you can have a percentage error. Okay, so that's fine. So 50 here, 30 there. The index of refraction is 1.53. Okay. So if a ray enters the glass here at an angle 20 degrees, what is the angle of refraction? So you can do the math, or you can use your simulation. If you use your simulation, you see 10, 20 is here. So the index of refraction have to be smaller than 20. It's about uh, maybe 12, okay? Otherwise, you can do the math. So you can do, uh, so we said 1.53. So you go from uh, 1 to 2. So you go from N1 equals 1 to N2 equals 1.53. So you go from air to glass. You always have, always have to identify where you come from, okay, the source. The source is in medium one. So then you write down one times sine 20 equals 1.53 sine theta 2. So take your calculator, you do sine 20, so sine 20, and then you divide by uh, 1.53, you get that, and you take the inverse sine, you get about 13 degrees. 13 degrees, and it's about that, right? So this is 13 here, that angle here is 13 degrees, and this angle here is 20. You can, uh, you can plot, okay? You can make a plot that, let's say you have um, x, so one times sine x equals 1.53 sine of y. And you can uh, use Wolfram Alpha, try to figure out how to plot. You can plot this, y equals sine minus one, of 
sine x over 1.53. Okay, try to see if you can uh, get something with Wolfram Alpha to plot this equation. Okay, so then uh, you go from water into glass. The incidence is 65. What is the angle of refraction? So you go from yeah. So you go from water, so one to two. So you go from one point thirty three to one point sixty one incidence means you start with you start with 65 degrees and you want to know what's going to be the uh, angle of refraction so 1.33 sine 65 equals 1.61 sine theta 2 okay so sine theta 2 equals 1.33 sine 65 over 1.61 okay and you get 1.33 times sine 65 divided by 1.61 and you have to Undo the sign, which is here, which is about uh, 49 degrees, right? 48.5. So it's going to be about 48.5. You go from water to glass. So I don't know if you can do it. Water, you go from water. So this is water here. Glass, one point. 60. I don't have 61, but I have 1.60. The index of uh, incidence is 30, 30, 50, 60. So it's going to be um, 65. Uh, to, yes, so you go from water. So you go from water. I forgot. So you go from water, 65, to glass. So it's going to be refracted to water, right? Refracted to water, right? So you go from 65, this is 55. And what do we have here? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 5, 48, okay? So you go from um, faster to slower because you have 1.33 to 1.6. So already the, the light was moving slow, and now it's gonna move even slower, okay? You can see that here, you go from water, 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 about here to glass, to glass. You see the speed, if you look at the speed here, already it was not 1C, it was 75% the speed of light, then it gets inside, and it's about 60% the speed of light. So this is refracted here toward the normal, because you go from faster to slower, less dense to more dense, okay? So if you look at the wave here, you see the wavelength gets smaller. Light always, you know, some of it will be refracted, some of it will be reflected. Okay. So then you have an unknown liquid. It's measured to make an incidence within the liquid of 48 degrees that, is, that it approaches the glass. The angle in the glass is 36. What is the index of refraction of the liquid? So in that case, you have, this is um, 
this is a must, you have to make a drawing. So of course you are supposed to stop the video. Okay. Try to do it uh, on your own. So you have uh, you have water, okay? So this is water here. And inside the water, you have a piece, piece of glass. So this is a piece of glass. And um, so here you have 1.63. The water, the index of refraction is 1.33. It's measured to make an angle of incidence within the unknown liquid 48 degrees as it approach uh, the glass. So you have, for some reason, you, you have, let's make the normal here. And you have a ray. This is, let's make the ray in black here. Yeah? So the ray within the unknown liquid, 48 degrees. So here, the incidence here is, no, sorry, 48 degrees. So you have the source of light here. Yeah? And it gets from uh, faster to slower. So it's going to be refracted toward here. Yeah? And the angle here is... 36. So inside here, it's going to be 36. So here, the drawing is key. So you go from medium 1 to medium 2. Okay, so you go from 1 to 2. So you go from water to glass. So you go from 1.33 to 1.63. So you go from 48 degrees to 36 um, degrees. I don't know what I, why I said a uh, block of what, the angle, what is the index of refraction of the liquid? Oh, I suppose that it was, I suppose that it was uh, water, but it's not, it's a unknown liquid, we don't know. Okay, that's your unknown actually. So N, N1 is unknown. So I'm going to put here N1. And it's not water. See, I'm, uh, I'm uh, translating, you know, as I go forward. So this is liquid. So it's a liquid here. We don't know what liquid it is. So we're going to apply uh, 1 to 2. Snell is slow. So we're going to do N1 times sine 48 equals n2 sine 36. So n1 equals 1.63, uh, we, yes, okay, divided by uh, sine 48. So that's going to be uh, 1.63 times sine 36, okay, you divide by sine 48, you get 1.29, right, is that right, let me see, check, check that again, 1.63 times sine 36 divided by sine 48, so 1, 1.29, so I don't know what uh, liquid, so if you have 1.29 liquid, uh, well, I'm not sure what it is. So you can check, um, you can check online that, what, what could that be? Something less dense than water. Maybe it's oil, some kind of oil, maybe it's oil. Okay, if, you, if you're just curious, we can check index of refraction of oil. Of course, you have all kind of oil, mineral oil, palm oil. No, no, it's not oil. Maybe it's water. Ah, 
I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of uh, liquid. Maybe it's water and I'm not sure. I, I have uh, to check. Check that out. Okay, so let's go back to the problems here. It's not oil. Okay, the index of refraction is 1.33. What is the speed of flight in water? But um, we, we did that already, right? It means that the speed of flight in water, it's going to be the speed of flight in air, meter per second, divided by the index of 1.33. So it's going to be 3 divided by 1.33. It's going to be 2.25 about, which is um, about 75%. It's about 75%. It's 75% of the speed of light in air. Okay, so I think we can know we did that. A diamond. So diamond has a very large index index of refraction. So you have a diamond, the index of refraction is 2.42. That's mean the speed of light, it's gonna be very uh, relatively small relative to air. So it's gonna be three divided by 2.42 times 10 to the eight meter per second. So you go from, is in water, so uh, it's not in the sky, the diamond is in water. So that's a beautiful diamond here. That's water, that's diamond. Oh, it shine on it. Okay, so you have light shining on the diamond. And you have the normal force, so it's going to move toward here. So the angle here is 55 degrees. What's going to be the angle of refraction? So you go from 1 to 2. So in that case, you go from the water to the diamond. So you go from 1.33 to 2.42. The angle of incidence is 55. A fraction, you don't know. So you just apply Snell's law. So 1.33 sine 55 equals 2.42 times sine uh, theta. And you are solving for this, right? So it's easy, I don't know if I should do it, but you can easily do it. 1.33 sign, of course, you are supposed to pause the video, enter, you divide by 2.42, and you take the inverse sign here, and you get 28, about 28. Yeah, that's going to be about 28. Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep keep that for for next uh, next class.